Hi, I'm John Hamilton here in St. Paul, Minnesota at the Republican National Convention. Behind me, Radio Row, where journalists are covering the convention from the inside. On the outside, a very different scene. On Monday, there were massive protests in the streets of St. Paul, and many journalists were swept up in the arrest by police. Among those swept up, Democracy Now! producers Sharif abdel and Nicole Salazar, and Democracy Now! host Amy Goodman, who's with me now. Amy, talk to me about what happened on the streets on Monday. Well, it was Monday night, uh, Monday late afternoon, and I was here at the convention center on the convention floor interviewing uh, well, what has become the hottest, coldest state, and that is Alaska. Delegates from there, and I was headed over to the Minnesota delegation. I got a call from Democracy Now! producer Mike Burke. He said, Nicole and Sharif have just been arrested, and they are bloodied. I said, what are you talking about? Well, we raced off. I was with Rick Rowley of Big Noise Films doing interviews on the floor. We raced to 7th and Jackson here in St. Paul, where Mike said that Sharif and uh, Nicole had been covering a protest. So when we got there, there was just riot police lined up. And I didn't see Sharif or Nicole anywhere. I went up to the riot police and I asked them. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to speak to a commanding officer. I needed to get our reporters out that they had been arrested. They needed to be freed. And they immediately took me. I mean, within seconds, they uh, pulled me through the police line, pulled my arms forcibly back, put the plastic handcuffs on those very rigid handcuffs that dig into your wrists and they shove me against the wall and push me down on the ground this is ridiculous I said I mean I have my we are all wearing our you know corporate government uh, top security credentials you see once again we're sponsored by quest both of the Democrats and the Republicans if you're wondering if there's a difference but these allow us to go onto the convention floor and that's what I was wearing um, and I was wearing my democracy now credential I said guys you know that I'm a reporter and I need to get these other producers out um, so I saw Sharif. He, his arm was bloody. He was across the way. He was handcuffed. His hands were behind his back. I demanded to be brought to him. They brought me over to him. And I said, guys, look at our credentials. And at which point um, I was arrested by the Minneapolis police, but a man with the earpiece came over and he ripped my uh, press pass off. And I said, uh, why did you do this? And I said to the police, why do you? He said, not us. He's Secret Service. So they took my police credential. Um, I demanded to see Nicole because they said her nose was bloodied. I said, I need to see that she is okay and I need her to be freed. And one of the police officers said, listen, I was knifed in my life. What's a bloody nose? I said, excuse me, I'm sorry you were knifed in your life, but that had nothing to do with us. This has everything to do with you. Why was she hurt here in the hands and the custody of police? And um, ultimately, I was put on the police wagon to be taken to jail, and Nicole was there wearing her press credentials as Sharif was. They knew exactly who we were. I was taken off to the police garage where the pens were for protesters. I was charged with obstructing a peace officer, interestingly enough. Um, and uh, Nicole and Sharif faced charges of PC riot, which is probable cause riot. They were taken off to jail. I was released after a number of hours. Ultimately, they were too. And the question is, will they drop all the charges against us? This is hindering journalists doing their job. I went to the police chief today, um, Chief Harrington. He had a news conference, the police chief of St. Paul. And I said, what is your policy in dealing with the press? Um, how, are how are reporters supposed to work here? And he said, you can embed with the police department. That's not the answer. You know, the model of embedding in the uh, front lines of troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now you have to embed with the police department. You know the kind of view you get. We have to be independent. That's what Link TV is. That's what Democracy Now! is. And that is what's going to save this society. Thomas Jefferson said if he had a choice between a government or a free press, he'd choose a free press. They cannot hinder the work of journalists who are the watchdogs. They're holding those in power accountable. Um, when they shut us down, they are closing the eyes and ears of, well, what ultimately is the hope of all of us being able to see how our government operates and then being able to participate in it. Well, certainly the police outside are controlling the message, but also inside we've seen the Republican National Committee controlling the message. Our colleague at Pacifica Radio, Mitch Jezerich, was attempting to interview former United States Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, today. He was physically restrained from getting close to him, I think because someone was worried he was going to ask tough questions. So it's happening on the inside as well, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's very serious, and all I take from that is... 
thank goodness for Pacifica and how important democracy now is and why we need Link TV. We need independent media in this country. That's the hope. Thank you for watching this Link TV special, What Change Looks Like. See the full schedule at linktv.org slash change.